another day, another dollar. Thank the Lord for another 24. God, I knew that was you, man. Just get home Friday night, grind, man. Hit the gym when I got off. Got a nice little shoulder workout in, man. Quick in and out, 30 minutes cardio. I was gone from the gym to Walmart. Had to get my groceries, man, re-up for the next week and the week after, man. I shop every, every two weeks, man, to get my groceries. The message I'm going to talk about today is achieving financial success, you know, being successful, setting yourself up in your 20s, you know. I'm going to talk about why your 20s are some of, the, some of the best years, you know, as far as achieving financial success, getting ahead in life, you know. For starters, when you in your 20s, your early 20s, you got a whole lot of energy, you know. You got tremendous energy, man, energy output. You think about it. <coughs> 20 year old, 21 year old, 22 year old, the typical 20 person in that age range, nine times out of 10 on the weekends, they out to two, three, 4 a.m. in the morning. You know, you got a lot of gamers, you know, that might stay up the goddamn 4.35 in the morning playing Call of Duty, Madden, NBA 2K Live, all that, you know. So you think if you can stay up those marathon sessions, you know, be out all night, you know, running the streets, up all night playing the game. Imagine if you took that same energy and you applied it to your life goals, you know, what you want out of life, you know, whether it be your job, side hustles, starting up a business, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is you're trying to do in life to get you further ahead to achieve success, your dreams, your goals. You take that same energy, man, and instead of playing the fucking game all night, you running the streets every weekend, man, chasing ass up and down the street, in the club, blowing, blowing bread on drinks, man, spending drink on women, you know, buying sections, you know, you take that time and spend it, you know, working extra hours, picking up extra shifts, you know, take that time instead of going out playing a game, you sit at the crib, you formulate, write out your business plan, you start executing you working on the shit on the weekend, you know? The typical person ain't thinking about that shit, man. So imagine how much further you're going to be ahead in life. You know, you do that, man, your 20s to your 30, that 10-year period. That's a long-ass time. 10 years, man. I read a saying to say it take one year to change your life around, man. Imagine you take that whole decade and you doing shit like that, man. You reevaluating, rearranging your priorities. Man, what? You finna take off like a rocket ship, man. You got all this energy, you know. Me, I'm 34. You know, I still got a lot of energy. You know, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm the type to get up and go get the shit, man. You know, I work a lot of 16-hour shifts. You know, I work as a prison guard at the prison. I volunteer to work a lot of shifts, pick up a lot of extra shifts, you know. As soon as I get off work, I still go to the gym, you know, five, six, seven times a week. You know, I'm working on the YouTube channel, the fitness pages, you know. I work on that shit on the weekend. So I'm on a seven-day grind. I'm doing this at 34, you know. A 20-year-old probably got more energy than me, you know. But if you take that same energy, what I just said, you know, as far as not running the streets every fucking weekend, put the fucking controller down and fucking work on your goals, work on your dreams, man. You finna take off. You finna be so much further ahead of the game, you know. The next reason why your 20s is a great time, man, your early 20s. If you didn't have no kids or you don't have any kids or dependents, man, you ain't got a lot of shit to worry about. You just got to worry about yourself, you know. You got a lot of extra money in your pockets every month, you know. You don't have to worry about shit like daycare, fucking child care expenses, you know. You got to goddamn feed the kids, you know, bathe them. You know, all kind of shit, man. Extracurricular activities. You know, I, my daughter's five years old. You know, I didn't have her till I was 29, right? So before, but when now, when she was born, you know, I look at all the expenses, you know. That shit adds up, man. You know, I got to pay for daycare. Her daycare is fucking uh, $875 a month. I pay that a month for daycare. You know, she's on my insurance at my job. So that bumps my insurance up. Damn, maybe another hundred dollars I gotta pay for insurance. You know, I pay for extracurricular activities on the weekends. She do the ballet classes, the dance, the swim lessons. Uh, it's just all kind of. She, you gotta buy clothes. 
you you know food. You got all, when she go to the doctor, she gets sick. I got to take her, me and her mom got to take her to the doctor. You know, you got to pay the copay. It might be $50. It might be $100 every time you go to the doctor. She might have to get a surgery. She had to get a couple minor surgeries before, man. Had to come out the pocket. That was two, maybe $300. I remember, man. So you figure, right? Her daycare, I said, eight seventy five. Let's just say eight seventy five. My mortgage at the time, remember, it was two years ago when she was first born. Her daycare was about still about the same. My mortgage was a thousand dollars, right? So I'm paying for a damn near essentially two house payments. You know, the point I'm trying to make is if you ain't got no kids, you got a lot of extra fucking money in your pockets. You know what you could be doing with that money? Stacking it. Saving it, investing that shit, buying stocks, trying to get into shit like real estate, man. You know, not blowing the shit on dumb shit, man. Going out buying all these clothes, fucking buying rims for your car, just dumb idiotic shit you really don't need, man. I look back on all the shit I bought over the years, man. You know, when I was younger in my 20s, man, I spent a, a lot of money on dumb shit, man. If I could get all that money back in my pockets, man, you know, taking women out to eat. <coughs> Going on fucking dates. Uh, I remember I bought rims for my uh, my car one time. That shit was like two thousand dollars. I caught a flat tire one time. Had to spend a whole damn near goddamn five hundred more dollars. All that money, if I could get it back, man, I would put that shit in the bank, invest it, pay off debt. You know, you just getting out of college, man. You got student loans. You could be fucking attacking them student loans, credit card debt, paying that shit, getting out the way. Fucking take the money and put it into your business and there. If you got a business idea, fucking invest in you. Invest in your business idea, man. Fucking get started in real estate. Anything, man, that's productive. You know, that's going to bring you more success, put you in a better situation. Take that bread, man, and be smart with it. I'm not saying not to have fun. I'm not saying not to live, you know, be, enjoy being a 20-year-old. You're going to make mistakes. We all fucking make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes from the day you're born to the day you fucking die. You're going to buy dumb shit, shit you don't need. It's a part of life, man. I'm not saying not to do any of that. I'm just saying, man, listen to what I'm telling you. Take that bread and fucking save it. Invest it as much as you can. You got a business idea. Take as much of that bread you can. Pull it together and fucking invest in you. Invest in your idea, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? The next reason why your 20s are some of the best times to achieve financial success, you ain't got shit to lose. Most times, nine times out of 10, you in your early 20s, you don't have a lot of assets to your name. You probably still living like a college student, broke. You know, you probably in the dorm. You don't have a lot of shit. You, ain't, you probably don't got a lot of money. You ain't got shit to lose, man. So you can afford to take more risk. You know, you can afford to fucking go on the deep end, man. Be a little more riskier, man. You got to take risks. Taking risks is a part of life as far as getting ahead. You take bigger risks, the bigger the reward. You can't be scared to take a risk in life, man. That's some of the most successful people in the world got that way by taking risk. You got to be taking risk out here, man. You ain't got shit to lose. Chase your fucking dreams, man. You in your early 20s, man. Go for it, man. You know, fucking go for it. If I knew what I knew today, man, fucking, I, I was 20, what, 14 years ago? I would have fucking started my YouTube channel back then, back in what? That's fucking 20, 2011. I would have started my YouTube channel back then. I know I probably would, my shit would have been blew up by now. You know, that's goddamn 14 years ago. I look at some of the top dudes, you know, that's doing the same thing I'm doing. That's been at it for years. You know, they've they been that doing it. That shit about that same amount of time, 10, 15 years. So if I would have did that shit, I would have chased, I would have hopped off the porch to start the YouTube channel. I wasn't thinking like that though, you know, but it's never too late. You know, trust God's time. I always trust God's timing, you know. That just, God was, that was telling him his way of telling me it wasn't my time at that time, you know, but now it's my time. So I'm gonna fucking chase my dreams, try to get this YouTube channel bubbling. You feel me, man? You know, what did I say? Say, yeah, save as much as you can, man. Invest as much. Pay off debt. You know, the sooner you can do that shit, get it to your head, man, the better off you're going to be, man. You get you a budget. It's important to have your budget. You got to know where your money's going, how much you spending, you know, versus how much you bringing in. 
You got to know and account for your money. If more money is being spent, then more money is coming in, then you hustling backwards. You fucking in the red every month. You want to get to the point where you saving and, and fucking investing the leftover bread. It should be more money coming in than your expenses. How do you do that shit? When you start to creep up, you know, you get better jobs, you get in your career, your income rises, your salary, you get promotions. Don't let your lifestyle and your bills and expenses creep up and surpass your income. Try to keep them down here. All You always want to have your income over your expenses, man. That's fucking basic math 101. That's how you stay in the green and don't go into the red, you know? The next thing, man, why your 20s is a great time, man. You can still live like a college student, you know? A lot of people, like I said, if you're in your early 20s, you probably just getting out of college. You might still be in college. You don't have a lot of fucking expenses, you know? You don't, you live, you probably got like a little part-time job. You probably just pay maybe, I don't know, your rent. Or if you living on campus, you know, you probably got uh fucking grant scholarships, shit like that. Your parents probably sending you money. You don't have a lot of fucking expenses, man. Somebody like me, I'm 34, fucking got a house mortgage. That shit now, that shit 1500 a month. Fucking, what else I got coming out, man? Uh, all kind of insurances, uh, house insurance, life insurance, health insurance through my job. I got money coming out for retirement. Uh, fucking car insurance. I got two cars, so I'm paying insurance on that. Luckily, I paid both of my cars off, so I'm good on that. I don't have a car payment right now on either of my cars. So I'm just paying car insurance, but it's all kind of shit, man. You know, I'm in the house, so shit break down. I got to fix it myself. I got to pay the uh, home home warranty. That helps replace shit. Like, my, say, my refrigerator break down, shit like that. I can call that. I got to pay the copay. It's like $100 every time you call them. But they usually come out and they replace or repair the shit, man. So I got a lot of fucking expenses, man. Child care. I'm paying $875 for that. Uh, Fucking what else, man? So you see how my expenses are compared to somebody that might be in their 20s. You might just have fucking car insurance or phone bill. A lot of times, a lot of people in their age bracket, your parents might be paying. They might just have you on a phone plan or car insurance. So you ain't even got to pay that. So, you know, you could keep living like a broke college student. If you could do that as long as possible, man, you're golden, man. You know, as you start to get, like I said, a higher salary, you get into your career, you know, now you're making good money. Try to keep your expenses low, man. Ain't no need to go out and try to keep up with the Joneses. You know, you see your friends, they might be in another field. They doing good. They out here buying Teslas. Fucking got the newest uh, clothes, the newest iPhone. Shit, don't do that. Do the opposite. Take that money and fucking stack it, man. A lot of people go into debt, you know, run up credit card debt, trying to keep up with motherfuckers. Fuck that shit, man. You want to have money in your pockets, man, not be in the red. You feel me, man? But just stay focused, you know. Like I said, enjoy your youth. Enjoy being 20. You know, have fun. Fucking travel, go out to eat, go out to clubs, party it up, live it up like it's fucking 1999, play the game, do all that shit. I'm not saying not to do none of that shit, man. Enjoy this shit. Enjoy being carefree, not having no kids, not having a lot of expenses, you know. But on the other end of the spectrum, don't waste time, man. You need to have that shit in your head, man. You try, you ain't going to be fucking 20 and in your 20s forever, man. The, first, the sooner you can get that, man, and get disciplined, and focus on your goals, man. You're going to fucking be so much further ahead of the game, of the crowd. You feel me? Y'all like this video? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, at The Ghetto Bodybuilder. I got merchandise for sale. Shop with me. This one of my shirts right here. Stop hating, man. Message to the haters, the trolls that be in my comments on YouTube. You know, talking shit, man. Stop hating, man. Don't hate. Just lift weights, man. Don't get mad at me. This is God's plan. This ain't my plan, man. You know, you will never see me hating on nobody, man. I got nothing but love, nothing but positivity. You feel me, man? If anything, I'm going to ask them. If I see somebody I got that got something I want, man, I'm going to ask them, how can I get like them? I'll pay a motherfucker some bread. They can teach me some shit I don't know to help me get like them, man. That's just my mentality. 
You got to have that mentality, man. Ain't no need to hate on the next man. He put his drawers on just how you put your drawers on. He fucking tied his shoes up, got the same 24 as you, man. Stop hating. Get off your lazy ass and get up. Make some shit happen. Get on your hustle, man. You got time to hate on another man. You ain't got enough motion. You ain't get no bread like that, man. You got too much time on your head. You need to get up. You need to get some money, man. Get some motion. Get some action, man. Get something going on in your life, man. But yeah, hope y'all like this video, man. Tap in with me. Subscribe to my channel, like I said. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated.